It's your boy Q, aka Coinlam, back with another video, man. And in today's video, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, I am bringing y'all how I edit my Instagram pictures. Well, not my Instagram pictures, because I already made a video showing y'all how I did that. But it is how I did these two edits that I posted on Instagram, and all of a sudden, I seen them all. I see them all over TikTok. People making videos on how to do them and the videos they making. No disrespect to y'all that has made a video on how to edit, like how I edit, if that just made sense. But them shit is nothing like how I actually edit my pictures. So today, I'm gonna be showing y'all how I actually edit the pictures. And the name of the edits they came up with was blackface and the giant edit so i'ma just run with it the blackface edit i only like the name of that that shit sound racist low key so i'ma just say invisible face how to make your face invisible and how to do the giant edit i'm going to throw y'all over to my macbook and show y'all how to do the giant edit first and then after we do the giant edit then i'm going to show y'all how to do the invisible face so with that being said man if you are a new be sure to like button subscribe turn on post notifications and one thing before we hop into today's video man i just want to say i appreciate everybody man your boy kwan did indeed get his YouTube plaque, I don't know if y'all can see, it's like hella glary. But I got my 100,000 YouTube plaque. And this honestly, it means a lot to me, but I honestly want more. I want the million plaque and I want the 10 million plaque. But yeah, like I said before, I just wanna say I appreciate y'all. This wouldn't be possible without y'all. I love y'all, I appreciate everything y'all do. If you ever like, comment, or interact with any of my videos, I just wanna say I appreciate you. And yeah, so with that being said, man, I'm gonna go ahead and throw y'all over into my computer and show y'all how I did this giant edit. So yeah, with, without yeah. further ado, so let's go. That being said, man, if you, I don't know what this is. This is indeed Photoshop. A lot of you may be looking at this software like, bro, what the fuck? It looks complicated, not gonna lie. But once you get into it and you start actually playing around, it's actually easy. But this is the picture I was talking about. Everybody is trying to learn how to do this edit on TikTok. As y'all can see, this is what they call the giant because I'm stepping over myself. Like I said before, this is the picture that we, I will be teaching you guys how to make today along with the invisible face. So what you will need is a regular picture like this in front of a building or in front of some type of background. You need a background with a building. I suggest a building. I seen somebody else do it on a bush. I don't really think you could like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's all personal preference, but me personally, I think the building looks the best. So what you're going to need to do is, if you don't have Photoshop, get this video to 6,000 likes and I will drop a video showing y'all how to do it on a phone. I'll learn how to do it on the phone and show y'all. But with that being said, man, this is the tool. This is literally all you need is this tool right here. And what you're going to do, oh wait, hold on. I ain't even let y'all know. You also need a picture like this too where you're gonna be stepping over the building. See, this was the original picture before we got to this. It was literally this plus this, and then we got this, simple as that. But with that being said, man, like I said before, let's go ahead and hop straight into the first pick. So you honestly don't have to do nothing to this picture. If you guys wanna know how I got my picture to look like this, go watch my how I edit my pictures and take my pictures video. I dropped my preset in the link in the description. So go grab that preset if you would like to learn how to edit your pictures like this. But for this first picture, you honestly don't need to do anything. It's all in this picture, bro. This is the picture that literally all you need to edit. I'm not gonna cut it out precisely. I'm just gonna go like fast, like exactly what I did. The cutout is gonna be trash, but obviously when I edited this picture, it was real precise and I took my time. And you can take your time if you want to, but this is just simply to show y'all how I did it. All right, man, so I start cutting myself out, whoop the whoop. Like I said before, it's not gonna be a precise cut. I'm just gonna cut myself out just to show y'all, you know what I'm saying, how I did the edit. But like, literally, cut yourself out. Go on the outline of yourself, make sure it's real precise. I'm not going precise. But I'm gonna catch y'all after I'm done cutting myself out. All right, y'all, so we are nearing the end of the cut, as y'all can see, and once you get to the end, all you gotta do is connect it with where you started at. Make sure your whole body is cut out, like I said before. My cuts aren't precise because I'm literally just showing y'all how I did the edit. And I'm not showing y'all how. I'm not showing y'all niggas how to use Photoshop. That's something for a different story. If y'all want to learn how to make thumbnails, I can let y'all niggas know that too. But with that being said, back to the video. I'm just showing y'all niggas how I did this edit. So I'm just like, you know what I'm saying, tighten it up a little bit because it was a little all over the place. But once you got your full body cut out, what you're going to want to do is go up here next to make. You're going to see the selection. You're going to left click selection you're going to click ok if you're on a mac it's command j that's what you're going to do next and if you're on a windows i believe it's control j and then once you get that you could like make this go away you can honestly delete this picture and then you're going to have you know what i'm saying two pictures of yourself now to get yourself on behind the building so you can look like this what you're going to want to do is Here's the, e here's the longer way to do it, but the shortcut to doing it is clicking Command T. And if you're on Mac, I believe it's Control T. So what you're gonna wanna do is, you know what I'm saying, make this smaller. And make sure you have this little thing on lock. Cause if it's unlocked, 
then you can make yourself look all weird and yeah that's your ass so when you you know what i'm saying size in the picture make sure this thing right here is selected and you're literally just going to want to put yourself behind the building my nigga it's not hard at all it just takes time like i said before so you're just going to want to put yourself behind the building or whatever play you literally just gotta play with photoshop bro i think i did something like this I was just literally playing around with Photoshop, bro. I zoomed in, click enter. And if y'all want to get, you know what I'm saying, your leg behind the building, there's two things you can do. You can erase your leg like that, or, you know what I'm saying, erase your leg perfectly, or you can cut out the building. And I'm not finna be doing that today because that took quite a minute. And if you want to put your hand behind the building, you just erase your hand. That ain't, hold on, that ain't right. Erase your hand. But as y'all can see, boom, that is how I made this picture. It's not that hard, but it's honestly not that hard. But, like I said before, I honestly prefer you to edit it with a building behind you, not a bush, not a car. I mean, you can do a car, but like, my nigga, I don't know. I suggest a building, so if you guys want a picture like this, use a building. And if you guys want the picture, if you guys want me to show you how to do this on mobile, let's smash 6,000 likes. But this is that. This is the giant edit. This is how I made my giant edit in Photoshop. So yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump straight into the phone. And I'm going to show you how to do the invisible All right, y'all, moving on to the invisible face edit. I'm going to pop a screen recording up of my phone on this side and show y'all. But the first time I ever did this edit, I was in school. Let me look at it. I got the picture right here. Let me just show y'all. This one was February 2nd, bro. Y'all probably can't see the date down. Like, well, y'all well, can't see the date. This was February 2nd. And you scroll over. And as y'all can see, this was the first time I ever did the invisible face edit, as y'all can see. And then from there on out, I just, you know what I'm saying? Threw it in later pictures. And you know what I'm saying? I just like being creative with my edits and with my pictures because I want my feed different from everybody else's. But with that being said, man, the app you will need for this edit is PixArt. If you didn't know, go ahead and download PixArt. I know they got this app on Apple, iOS, and Android. So the next thing you will be needing for this edit, as y'all can see on the screen, you need a picture with your hood on. You can't make your face invisible without a hood on. Sorry, not sorry. You have to have a hood on. And with me, since I got a lot of hair, my, my hair will like poke out. So I tuck all my hair in my hood. And then, you know what I'm saying? I hold the hood or I just let the hood hang and I snap up. So with that being said, man, once you're in PixArt, you're gonna wanna go to brushes. I think it's brushes. Nah, this shit ain't brushes. It's draw. Yeah, that's what you want to go to. You want to go to draw. You're going to click the little, you know what I'm saying, this little color bar icon over here. You want to click this little, I'm going to show y'all on the screen. Click that right there. Once you click that, you bring it to, you know what I'm saying, your hood. So it'll be the same color. So the colors won't be off. You bring it to like the top of your hood. You know what I'm saying? Your hair, basically. Just say your hair. So it could be the same color. And then once you get there, this is the easy part. This, is, this edit is mad easy. It takes like three minutes if you master it but once you got that you literally just start coloring in your face and i see why they call it the black face edit but oh you like the terminology that's why i say invisible face so you literally just want to color your face out bro so you can't see your face no more and like i said before i'm not doing it as precise because i'm not posting these pictures i'm just strictly showing y'all how i do it so with that being said as y'all can see cut your color your face out and boom you got the invisible face black face edit whatever y'all want to call it and yeah, that's that. Like I said before, if you want to make your picture look 10 times better, you got to go to my how I take my pictures and how I edit my pictures. In the top link in the description, I, I posted the preset I use. So, with that being said, man, this is the invisible face edit. And yeah, I just want to say, the only reason I'm dropping this video is because I got spammed on TikTok. But it was a lot of times people asking me to drop the video because the people that made the video, and you know what I'm saying, they didn't describe it that good. So, man, with that being said, man, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. New videos every Friday, man. I love y'all. And I'm out. Okay. Okay, bye.